All right, let's uh, start with a fresh new image uh, buffer. Let's make it 540p. That's uh, 960 by 540 pixels. That's a custom size I just added. Uh, you can do that. You can customize this to your likes and dislikes. And um, one thing I'll do is I'll uh, start with a very simple filter. And you notice right now I don't have symmetry enabled. All right, so I'm going to go to the sil filter, render, uh, checkerboard. Very simple. And it doesn't matter really what colors we'll use. Uh, let's make it bright. Why not? High contrast and a little bit larger. There you go. Now I'm going to enable symmetry. Okay. Oh, actually the mirror. And you see that it's kind of readjusting things a little bit. Okay. And next thing is I'm going to go make it blurry so that we have soft edges along these transitions. So Gaussian blur is a good one to use. And let's go like this. And then the next thing I'm going to do is get one of those sharpening filters. Uh, the Max Sharpen has a nice side effect of color reduction. And it does a couple of nice uh, appearance changes here. Uh, it's still fully symmetrical now. And uh, next thing I'll do is I'll just turn this into an animated uh, an animation here. I'll create an animation of 30 frames, short enough. Um, and then I'm going to the filter, which has the animated tunnel. And in this case, I'll just fly through the tunnel. So I'm not going to have it twist, just fly in. And there you go. So you see it render now each frame of the 30 frame sequence. And there you go. So now you click on the animation toolbar, you can now fly through that. If you want to make it completely um, loopable, you can go to the animation and select frames. And in there, uh, make it loopable. And say how many frames you want to cut at the end here, maybe go to 22. So you got a little bit of a fade over transition. Doesn't matter. Now what I'm going to do is pick this up. Now there is a brush pickup tool for that. Um, and when you do that, you essentially um, normally you would just pick this one image, right, like this, and then you could paint with that, okay, and symmetry is still enabled. Um, I'm going to undo that, and instead, I'm going to say, let's pick up not just this one frame, but let's go to the very beginning, the first frame, and pick up the whole animation. Not necessarily the whole width and height, maybe just a portion, like this much, there. But before I let go, I hit the Alt key, and now it's picking up the whole sequence from this frame to the end. So it's loading that into the brush as a custom animator brush, which I can store over here. Store image. I can make that a little bit bigger. And you can see that it's cycling through this every two seconds to remind you that this is an animated brush now. And you can go and change the hue. Um, well, it's black and white, so it's not going to change a lot. We may need to give it a little bit of a red, green, or blue tint. And then at that point, we can probably also work with the saturation, the value, and other things. We can change the size, we can do a variety of things. To this custom animator brush, we can see the film strip right there that shows the whole sequence that's in the film strip, and the whole animation that was picked up, and we can now go paint with that. And of course, if we set the opacity to complete, then you got, with mirror enabled, you got that expected mirror animation um, painting but now what I'm going to do is undo this and I'm going to hold the alt key down as I'm painting okay now before that I want to right click on the custom brush tool so that I can key to a different color so that for instance the black parts become transparent perhaps adjust the high and the low pass a little bit so the only thing that are actually being drawn is the, um, the pink parts All right, and so there we go now I'll hold the Alt key down while I'm painting. Okay, and when I do that, it's essentially cycling through my existing animation as it's throwing in my painted animated brush on top of it. That's how you paint with video on top of video. You can load other videos in there, you can load other image sequences, and whatever you have in your custom brush here, you can use that to paint with. Okay, you can go to a different hue and <clears throat> different colors or whatever you want to give it and then go and paint with that on top. Combine that with the mirror mode and you get some phenomenal visual experiments. And here's a little playback. 